Hey guys, welcome to The Slumberyard, I'm Wes, and in today's video we're talking about how Zynus compares to Nectar, more specifically how the Zynus Green Tea Mattress compares to the Nectar All Foam Memory Foam Bed. So in this video we're gonna go rather quickly, but we should cover everything that you need to know about these two beds, including their similarities, differences, construction, firmness, feel, all that, and then at the end we'll talk about price and have a final verdict for you. But if you need any more information about either one of these mattresses, check down below in that description box because we have done full reviews, video ones, but let's just get right into it. All right, so before I get into everything that you need to know about Zynus and Nectar, I should say that both of these brands sent us these mattresses for free to review and tell you guys about them. But if you order any online, they'll be backed by the following policies, starting with free shipping. Then you get a sleep trial. With Zynus, it's around 100 nights. And with Nectar, you get 365 nights to test the bed out. Then if you don't absolutely love the beds, you can get a return option with both of these brands, but hopefully you do want to keep them. And if so, Zynus backs their bed by a 10 year warranty and Nectar actually has a forever warranty. So some pretty nice policies in the route of Nectar, but you know, that's just the first thing we'll talk about a lot more later. But if you're looking at just policies, Nectar kind of wins here. And more information about those policies can be found down below in that description box. But let's just jump right into this comparison and talk about the first bed, which is Nectar. This bed's sitting right next to me. So this is a simple three layer all foam bed. You can get Nectar as a hybrid bed, but that will cost you a little bit more. So we're just talking about the base level all foam one. But in terms of its construction, it's got dense support foam on the bottom, then a transition layer. And then above that is a layer of memory foam and the whole thing's wrapped up in a nice cover. Now, in terms of this bed's firmness, we would place it right around a medium firm on our firmness scale. So it will be a little bit better for strict back or stomach sleepers since it is on the firmer end of the spectrum, but everyone should be able to get by on it, including combination or, you know, side sleepers. Now, in terms of the feel of Nectar, it's basically gonna have a dense viscous memory foam one. So when you go to lay down on it, it will feel a little firm at first, but then you'll start to slowly sink into the mattress and it will cradle some of your pressure points. Now, since this is a slower to respond, denser memory foam, it might not be great for any combination sleepers who toss and turn constantly because it might take the bed a little bit to catch up to you. So just know all that going in. But if you're a memory foam fan or a memory foam lover, this will probably be, you know, right up your alley. And again, this Nectar bed is the all foam model, but you can get that hybrid version that basically swaps out that support foam and puts pocketed coils instead, but it'll pretty much be the exact same bed, just cost you a little bit more for that hybrid design. And Nectar has two other great bed models. They have the Nectar Premier and the Nectar Premier Copper. Now those beds will differ in terms of firmness and feel slightly. And if you do wanna hear our full opinions on either of those beds, you can check down below in the description box and check out some of the reviews we've done with those. But jumping back to Nectar, this is basically just gonna be a simple three layer all foam bed with that dense viscous memory foam feel right around a medium firm firmness. Now in terms of the Zynus Green T mattress, what do you gotta know in terms of its construction? It has a layer of base foam. They used to use egg crate foam, but not anymore. So it's changed a little bit. Then above that, you have the Zynus Comfort Foam transition layer. And then on top of that is their memory foam layer. And this bed will basically have a memory foam feel. It's probably not gonna be as dense and viscous as something like the Nectar mattress. It'll respond a little bit quicker, but it still will have that traditional memory foam feel. You know, it might feel a little bit firm at first and you'll start to sink into it, but I would say just a little bit less dense than Nectar. Now going along with that feel, this bed will be a bit softer, and this is actually one of the softest memory foam beds that we've ever tried over here at the Slumberyard. So we would place it right around a medium soft on our firmer scale. So you will definitely sink into this bed a bit. And since it is a little bit softer around that medium soft, it might be a great option for any side or combination sleepers. If you like a lot of pressure relief, or you like to feel like you're kind of sleeping in a little nook, this bed will probably be the better choice in between the two. And another area where the Zynus Green Tea mattress excels over Nectar is price. So as of when I'm recording this video, you should be able to pick up a queen size Zynus Green Tea mattress for around the $400 mark, which is a darn good deal. You know, anything below the $500 mark is basically a steal in terms of mattresses. And you know, this pricing is as of when I'm doing this video. So pricing and promotions do change in the online mattress space constantly. So, you know, just check down below in the description to see a current price. But in terms of the Nectar mattress, this is also gonna be a pretty darn good deal for a bed of this quality. You're looking at around the $660 mark for the queen size after discount. So, you know, not too much more expensive than the Zynus Green Tea mattress. And, you know, it's still below that $1,000 mark. So it is a good choice for any budget, you know, shoppers. But that's the short story when comparing Zynus to Nectar. So at this point in the video, let's just give you our slumber yard's final verdict. 
And I would check out the Zinus Green Tea Mattress. If you're looking to save the most amount of money possible, you want something that's a bit softer around a medium soft with a typical memory foam feel. And check out the Nectar Mattress if you want something with some really great consumer-friendly policies that's also gonna be at a really nice price point and you want the bed with more of a dense viscous memory foam feel and a medium firm firmness. But that's just what we think over here at the Slumber Yard. You know, me personally, I would probably go with the Nectar Mattress unless I was putting the Zinus in maybe a guest room or an Airbnb or something like that, but it's just a little too soft for me. But both of the beds are good in their own right and pretty darn cheap. So, you know, write us down below in those comments. Have you tried either one of these mattresses or would you like to? And if you happen to enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to The Slumberyard for so much more. But that's gonna do it for this one. I'm Wes wishing you a good night's sleep.